Rock mage, rock mage, rock mage, rock mage, rock mage, rock mage, rock mage. That's what they're saying right now. That's what they're saying in their comms as they step kidney you, combust, into cheap shot, into cheap shot, into dragon's breath, into dead. Let's not let that happen anymore, right? Today, we are going to talk about surviving and thriving against Rogue Midge. All right, let's get it. So, Rogue Mage is something I thoroughly enjoy facing because it is a composition that you could just mentally screw with, and it's just fantabulous. So, I'm going to go over today tips for you guys versus Rogue Mage. This will apply to twos and threes. I'm going to be showing you a 3v3 game and commentating over it, but the same rules do apply in 2v2. So, uh, let's get going here. Just really quick, just some talents to make sure you guys do have. Make sure you have a spec with the, you know, these, this like little guardian row or whatever and renewal. Uh, just make sure you have that. Whatever build you want to play otherwise, go flog it. Do whatever you'd like. Uh, just make sure you do have the, you know, these two of course, and then extra damage reduction always helps. A little bit of uh, shielding and and uh, well-honed instincts. So, regardless of that, you can play hard of the wall. You can do whatever you'd like. And then PvP talents, uh, make sure you do have resin though, just because if it is a rogue mage priest, you have two classes that are purging you. Not a good time if you don't have resin. So, just do that. But let's get right into the game here to show you guys. So right now we're gonna I am playing Shadow Play, which is Shadow Priest Destro Lock versus Rogue Mage Holy Paladin. Okay. So really quick, the goal of Rogue Mage is to almost always kill the Wrestle Druid. Okay. If you are a Wrestle Druid in a game with Rogue Mage, they are going to try to kill you. So what are you gonna do? Prepare and assume that's the word you're gonna make an ass out of you and me you're going to assume that you are the kill target every single game no matter what your teammates have defensives you can always rely on them otherwise you got to always expect that you're the kill target so off this opener here i'm going to throw some hots up here T depending on the comp that i'm playing these two playing Destro shadow priests are typically a little bit tankier so i don't have to worry about I, I am going to still hot them on there but there are classes that you actually don't need to necessarily super hot like typically i would actually just life bloom both these guys and then throw the send ward on myself so while i'm sitting in stealth i'm able to uh you know at least have something if they do find me okay and then at this point we're going to get the hell away in the duration of this game your goal is to never get stunned in line of the mage they are going to probably get to you at some point and they're going to stun you. But if you can get stunned out of line of the mage, you will delay their damage because most of the damage is coming from the mage, especially if you're in bear form, and you will survive, all right? And then also communicating your team, especially if you are playing with voice, not always gonna be happening. So um, something I opted to do, especially in twos, do not do this, but in threes, you can kind of do it. Don't open with rake stun, okay? If you do want to open with Rake Stun, in Rogue Mage, sometimes it is good because they will automatically trinket and you can kind of capitalize off that. If you do want to Rake Stun, if you feel like you're in a good position, I would always Rake, follow up with Vortex, at, uh, right on top of the Rogue, and then Bear Form on your, as you run away, okay? Because they are a lot of Rogues will just instantly trinket Step Kidney. Boom. You have no hots, you're out of form. That's what they love to see. So that is something you do wanna, don't want to do. If you can, so we um, our priest ends up stunning the rogue, so I didn't even bother with it. If he didn't stun him, I probably would have stunned him. So I end up going behind the pillar, throw out first global is going to be overgrowth. Because what is this rogue looking to do? And you will see this. He is looking to step kidney me. That is the only thing this, this guy has on his mind. Okay? So as we start the game here, you can see, look, he's already drifting towards me. I know what he wants to do. So I'm going to vortex. I try to vortex the step. He doesn't fall for it. So I now that I know he wants to go me, I got to just be really cautious. Throw one hot and I'm back behind the pillar. Now at this point, he's obviously searching for me. I'm going to pre-hot myself, try to find a re-stealth. Do not be afraid to just sit your ass in stealth and do not play the game. Okay? If your teammates have defenses, let them use them. Don't come out. Okay? Do whatever you can to stay in stealth and wait for the go to be committed okay so they, they he goes through their um goes through the meld gets knocked out to the dots i kind of hop it around the uh the pillar here dude i'm uh, sorry i say dude <laughs> side note here because of treants don't fuck yourself with restealths on treants i do not prefer to treant early because you cannot restealth okay so i do not tree in here if they if, if i find an opportunity that they're going to go with me i may tree on myself because i can't drop combat but look at this i get a restealth I'm gone. I dash away. They now this guy's running with his chicken. It's chicken with a head cut off here. That now their go is delayed once again. They're forced to commit to going to something else or just wait longer. So I'm going to stun this rogue. 
and hop out to the other side and immediately go bear for him in case he uh, steps me. Again, I am in a position here that even if he does step kidney me, the mage is not near me. The paladin is not near me to hodge off or something like that. So I, I'm not as much of a threat. I do got immediately, so I do get stepped here. I'm going to get behind the pillar, get in bear form. I do already have those three life limbs on me. If you know they want to go you, which should almost be all the time, you're going to have one life loop on the, on the target that's out getting hit, the other life limbs on yourself. Make sure that you're bearing every possible go. Okay, at this point, rogue's behind the pillar there, so I am going to, I am going to be a little risky and uh, go in line of the mage, but it's just a simple line. Okay, this was not a good spot, but what did I do immediately when this happened? I am yelling at my team. They're setting up me, they're setting up me, they're gonna go me, okay? So now I'm asking them to spam CC. Okay, this is a bad misplay on my end on positioning, so I need my teammates help here. So I'm telling him to spam CC here. He goes for the poly, he polys the priest. My lock is spamming fear, they end up kidding me. I'm gonna bark skin, I'm gonna try to hold off. Okay, um, at this point here, he does leave a little bit of gap. I don't know why I didn't get anything off there. Uh, but typically, do not overreact. This was not combust. I do not want to trinket trank. Trinket trank should always be... Oh, on that note, you should have the trinket trank talent. You should have uh, inner peace, by the way. Um, okay, continue here. We are okay. I immediately going to... Uh, I, I call for... Actually, I get a good grip there. I'm going to come out of there. I use nothing. I still have renewal. still have hellstone. What is my next step? I survived the go. I am getting in position again. You got to get in position to get the hots back on yourself. I'm going to innovate. I'm going to hot him up. Notice how I am still keeping the life looms on myself. Okay, keeping the life looms on myself. Finding a pillar behind there. Okay. Also, if you guys do not have this add-on, it's really useful here. It's called Diminish. It will show your own DRs. Uh, with this, I know they can't go for eight seconds. So I'm out here doing what I gotta do if I need a clone, if I need to get hots out, keeping an eye out on this. No pun intended, that's an eye. He step gouges me just before this goes, but look where my position is. I am out of line of sight of the mage. It buys me more time. Okay, now he has to waddle towards me. He gets a trinket bomb. At this point, I have my hot, my life from, I do not have life on myself, so that's actually a misplay on my end. But we have. I'm giving myself a lot of time and my teammates a lot of time to peel. I think he ends up coiling here, right? He fears... He gets, they double blink in. Not a very strong go from them. I do end up living this, right? Okay. I do actually, that was awesome. So I opted to actually not trank there and go for Hellstone, uh, Hellstone Renewal. Okay, you don't, I mean, if you don't have Hellstone, you don't have Hellstone, but Renewal is a really good option there. And then I gate, so I was chilling by the gate. Another option there, we're gonna go for Vortex in case they try to get back over to me. To be honest, kind of wasted. You wanna keep those Vortexes for potential steps. Okay, this whole game is just not dying, okay? That's Rogue Mage for you, as the dress of wrestler do a POV. Okay, this is a combust proc. Make sure I'm keeping hots up. Again, keeping an eye out on this. So after that first go, not every rogue will do this, but after that first go, I did realize that he's not waiting for this DR to end. He was going to wait for about two seconds off it. He's gonna step gouge me and then and then kidney me off. Okay, so now I know that he's doing that. I'm gonna make sure I'm a little bit more cautious. I have hots on myself. Gonna re myself, refresh it up, get full hots. Okay, I do get gouged out of line of sight of the mage yet again. The same thing applies in twos. Do not get stunned in line of the mage. The rogue will catch you. Okay, the goal is just not get stunned. So look at this. He's gouged. He's gonna. He's forced to kidney now. And at this point, mage is not in my line. He blinks in. They do not have enough damage. He does pop a combust. I skin, but I have full hots. My teammates end up off healing me, which is great. Life loom the proc that, and then just chilling. Life loom, or sorry, swift mend. At this point here, again, I am off DR. I need to take advantage of the downtime. I am not able to die. They are not going to kill anything but me, as we can see this already. And my teammates still have every defensive. They are fine. Take advantage of the times you're on DR. If you... In that time that out of that sun, you're either running to a pillar to recover, but if you did recover already, like this scenario where they did not get much of a go, I'm taking advantage with stuns, clones, getting our team back on the offensive, and then just being mindful of the time though. So I was going to want to go for a stun there, but it didn't really work out. So I need to pop some heals. At this point, stun DR is falling off. What should I do? I should get my ass out of there. And that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stampede and roar in bear form, get behind the pillar, refresh the hots on myself, be mindful of my position again. I'm just constantly rotating away from this mage all times okay keeping hots on myself if i can get a restealth i mean i'm gonna even do that so i think i go for a little bit of drink there i call out so at this point he does have kidney shot i can uh, i tried to want i went out there to hot him to try to prevent him from using his his uh, dispersion what is the rogue doing yet again running towards me what should i do go in bear form do i do it i don't think so actually I ended up going for the trance. Oh, I do. Perfect. So he was expecting me to bash him. I didn't do anything. I vortex him back here. Just kind of chilling in bear. 
Okay, um, so some people also say, so what if I have no hots in bear form and the guy's just waiting for me to shift? What will I do? Typically, if this scenario happens, I am going to, so let's say I have no hots on myself right here and they are trying to set up a go. And when I come out, I need to come out to do to pop some heals, right? So I'm going to come out immediately with overgrowth iron bark. Boom, bada bing. At least I'm a lot, I should be a lot safer. Okay, so he's gonna be, he, uh, we actually start doing a lot of damage to him, force him out of line there. I'm going to pre-iron bark myself. They blind me because they, I, 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 they, I, <laughs> because I iron bark myself, they're going to opt to go to the Shadow Priest. That is exactly what we want because our Shadow Priest still has every cooldown. That's going to give me more time to recover my cooldowns as well. Okay, so out of this, he, he says that he's okay, so I don't, I'm not really forced to trink it here. If he needed to disperse, he could, but he's actually fine. He has appealing. Okay, out of this, re-stealth. Out of, out of, if you do get poly, you do get blounded, aka blinded, uh, you can get restelts out of that. Take advantage of that. I get a restelt here. I stun the rogue. I'm piecing the hell out. I'm going to rotate away yet again. Do not stay in line. This is the end of his combustion. Keeping hots. Keeping the light plumes yet again on myself. Rogue pushes to me. I go behind the pillar. I'm in cat form here just because I'm on DR for another few seconds here. I get a full stun onto him. He ends up coming out. I stun him again. And he ends up, I believe, dying. No, he doesn't die yet. Okay, I end up just trinket trying because the paladin died. That's what happened there. Um, but that is about it on that. So this game I thought was a really great example of how you need to play as rogue mage. Doesn't matter the comp. Yes, this comp kind of allowed me to survive a little bit more because of the peels and the heals. But honestly, to every extent, to every every comp to has some of these peels to an extent. Just make sure you're communicating with your team um, to things that you need. As the healer, you should be the shot caller in this comp uh, against rogue mage, right? Because you're the one that's just keeping your eyes out. You're kind of playing slow watching everything going on and positioning yourself. Positioning is everything. Okay, if you just get yourself out of line of the mage, it slows down every single go, gives your teammates timemates, gives your teammates time to peel, and it makes it hard for them to see for the enemy team to see the healer. I will say this though, if this was a holy priest rogue mage, it gets a lot more difficult. When you're just a, just a quick note here, if it is a holy priest versus rogue mage, you have to worry about chastise as well. They could pre-chastise and then get to you, um, like uh, not not stun chastise, regular chastise, kind of like how rainwalkers will in cap and then roll over to you, sweep you. They could pre-chastise you and then get over. So that is also just something to be an eye, keep an eye out for. But uh, I hope you guys got something out of this. This is how you play Rogue Mage in twos and threes. Twos, you can kind of, kind of take advantage a little bit more offensively, like I, I literally do, because they don't have a healer and you want to, you don't want to just let them get infinite resells. But in threes, it's all about hiding. And again, do not be afraid to sit in stealth. There are games where I just sit in stealth while my teammates are at 75, 50% health, wait for them to commit that kidney shot go and then come out and uh, top your team off. All right. Hope you guys got something out of this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.